If you're a fan of all things spooky, creepy, and just plain disturbing, then you're in the right place. Today we're talking about some disturbing facts that will have you questioning everything you thought you knew about the world. But don't worry, we're not just going to leave you feeling depressed and traumatized. We're going to add a little bit of comedic relief to help ease the pain of all this disturbing information. So sit back, grab some popcorn, and get ready for a wild ride through some seriously disturbing facts. Just make sure to keep all sharp objects away from your body, because things are about to get weird. Let's do this. Have you ever wondered if there are murderers around you? Have you looked at the gaze of a person on the street or even a close friend and seen something very sinister in it? If so, you might have actually seen something in that sight. If we assume that you live in a large city, in the United States, according to statistics you will pass by a murderer 36 times in your life. Will you look at people a little differently now? Have you ever been to Disneyland? Engineers at this amusement and theme park decided that the plastic skeletons that are part of Pirates of the Caribbean ride don't look very convincing. When the park was built in 1955 actually the artificial skeletons did not look very real, to put it mildly. People from the anatomy department of the University of California, Los Angeles, came to help. They delivered real skeletons of people to the park. They served there for a very long time but over time backbones began to be replaced by artificial, modern ones. In the high mountains, the danger of an accident is at a very high level. However, life is not just about lying down and looking beautiful. Despite the risks, every year there are many daredevils who try to conquer the highest, most dangerous mountain peaks. Such certainly includes the highest peak on Earth, Mount Everest. However, many of these daredevils pay the highest price for their passion and desire to conquer their lives. Conditions on Mount Everest, however, in many places do not safely allow the bodies to be taken from there. Climbers and Sherpas lie tucked into crevasses, buried under avalanche snow or even exposed in some places. There are over 200 corpses on Mount Everest and some of them are used as waypoints for other people. Now something to lighten up and get around the topics of danger and death. People are trying to be economical, hence the creation of abbreviations of all kinds, including language abbreviations. Time is money, for some, so communication should be simplified, should it really be simplified? However, have you ever thought that the abbreviation WWW is not very rational? It's much quicker to say World Wide Web. Check it out for yourself. And we're back to the weird and scary stuff. The human body will never stop surprising me. Some cancers can grow bits of teeth and hair inside. The next picture will not be pleasant. If you don't want to see it, click pause and move on to the next fact. Do you like animals? I love them very much. I have a dog myself. A beautiful sheepdog. Dogs like to play as much as people do. They need a shot of endorphins. That's why owners buy them all sorts of squeaky toys. Hmm well, squeaky? Have you ever noticed that dogs definitely prefer squeaky toys to those without loud ones? According to a recent study, this is because the squeaking of a toy reminds dogs of a small animal being killed. Are you looking at your pooch right now? Don't worry, that's just how nature works. The US Apollo 11 spacecraft landed on the moon on July 20, 1969, a big moment for humanity. It was the first time man stood on another planet. However, few people are aware of the dramatic scenes that unfolded inside Apollo 11. The Apollo 11 spaceship was on its historic descent to the moon's crater pock surface, still 100 feet above the ground, when a fuel light blinked on. Apollo 11 only had about 20 seconds of fuel left when it finally landed. I'm sure Armstrong and Aldrin certainly didn't feel comfortable at the time. Do you like to fly on an airplane? I love it. The feeling of taking off, suddenly overshooting and bouncing off the ground is impossible to replace. It's a bird, it's a plane. It's a pilot snoozing on the job. Believe it or not, a shocking 50% of pilots have admitted to falling asleep during flights. While it's not clear how they managed to catch some Zs with all the buzzing and humming of the cockpit, it's safe to say that this is definitely not the kind of turbulence we want to encounter on our next flight. Let's hope the other 50% are well rested and ready to reach their destination safely. Ah, the beauty of daytime. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and everything just feels a little bit brighter. But let's not forget where all this daytime goodness comes from. That's right, it's all thanks to that giant ball of flame in the sky. Without the sun, the universe would be in a constant state of nighttime. Can you imagine? No more sunny beach days or warm summer evenings. But fear not, the sun is always there to light up our world and bring us those precious daylight hours. So the next time you're enjoying the warmth of the sun, just remember, you have a fiery ball of plasma to thank for it. Have you ever heard your child talking to someone who isn't there? Don't panic, 
it's actually quite common. According to experts, around 8% of children experience auditory hallucinations, also known as hearing voices. That's about the same prevalence as asthma or dyslexia. While it can be unsettling for parents to hear their child talking to thin air, it's important to remember that this is a normal part of childhood development for some kids. If you're concerned about your child's experience with hearing voices, it's always a good idea to talk to a healthcare professional for guidance. But in most cases, hearing voices is just a temporary phase that children grow out of. Ew, gross. Did you know that your bed is likely home to millions of tiny critters called dust mites? These microscopic bugs feast on the dead skin cells that we shed every day, and they can thrive in warm, humid environments like your bed. In fact, it's estimated that a typical mattress can have up to 10 million dust mites living inside it. Gross, right? But don't worry, there are steps you can take to help reduce the number of dust mites in your bed. Regular washing of bedding in hot water can help kill off these creepy crawlies, and using dustproof covers on your mattress and pillows can also help. So the next time you crawl into bed, just remember, you're not alone. Get ready to have the creeps, because we're heading to Isla de las Muñecas, also known as the Island of the Dolls. This creepy location is one of the most haunted places in the world, and it's easy to see why. Located in Mexico, the island is home to hundreds of dolls that hang from the trees, their plastic faces frozen in a state of perpetual terror. Legend has it that the dolls were placed there by a man named Don Julian Santana, who was trying to appease the spirit of a drowned girl he found on the island. Whether or not you believe in ghosts, there's no denying that the island of the dolls is one seriously spooky place, consider yourself warned. Hold up, did someone say rat droppings in our candy bars? Yum, yum, pass the rodent poop, please. Just kidding, no one wants rat droppings in their sweets. But believe it or not, the FDA does actually allow small amounts of these pesky critters in our food. Don't worry, it's not as gross as it sounds. The FDA has strict guidelines in place to ensure that the presence of rodent filth in our food is minimal and does not pose a threat to public health. So the next time you sink your teeth into a chocolate bar, just remember that a tiny bit of rat droppings might be lurking within. Gross, but true. Step aside, plastic cups and bowls. The ancient English had a much more macabre option for their dining ware, human skulls. That's right, it was not uncommon for people in ancient England to use hollowed out skulls as cups and bowls. Talk about a creepy conversation starter at your next dinner party. Hey, pass the salt. Oh wait, that's just a human skull. Never mind. While it's definitely not a practice that we follow today, it's interesting to think about the lengths people would go to in order to reuse resources. So the next time you're sipping your morning coffee out of a ceramic mug, just be grateful you don't have to drink out of a human skull. Calling all ghost hunters. There's a haunted radio station that you may want to add to your list of paranormal places to visit. It's called UVB76, and it broadcasts nothing but white static noise. Sounds pretty boring, right? But here's the catch, every now and then, Russian transmissions are picked up on the frequency. And get this, the station has been broadcasting since 1982 and no one knows exactly where it's located. Talk about a mystery. Some people believe that the station is haunted by the ghost of a former Russian soldier, while others think it's just a hoax. Whatever the case may be, one thing is for sure, UVB 76 is definitely a strange and creepy place.